here and welcome back to the 8th episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is really cute, we actually have Gale walking between the cherry blossom trees as we're starting the game up today. Alright, so let's see what announcements does Isabel have for us today. Hi there everybody! Right now on Seychelles, it is 2.29pm on Sunday, April 5th, 2020. Now, today I have one very special announcement. The incredible, amazing musician KK Slider is here visiting Seychelles. Not only that, but Mr. Slider has graciously agreed to put on a special concert for everyone on the island. Stand by for a direct feed from the concert venue. I hope you all enjoy the show. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting! We're gonna get to see KK! Oh, and the entire village is here! This is adorable! Hey Seychelles, it's real groovy being here today. Feels like this dream I once had when I was just a scruffy pup with a shoebox guitar. I was dreaming of heading out on my own, wandering wherever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together to see a stray like me. Sorry about that, I, I do run on. Time to get your fingers snapping. Right on. This one goes out to all you cool cats here on Seychelles. I call it Welcome Horizons. Oh my goodness, is he gonna play a song for us? He is, okay. I'm gonna be quiet for this. That was so beautiful. I also, I love how the seasons were changing throughout the performance there. Although it was kind of weird that Cherry wasn't at the concert. Oh, and Tom Nook is at our door now. Hello, Judy. Did you enjoy KK's concert? It was wonderful, wasn't it? I'm overjoyed that we could get him to play here. It's a special thing for sure. As a commemorative gift, I give you his song, Welcome Horizons. I'll send it to you in the mail, so give it a listen when you can. Oh, and I have some big news too. KK is apparently very fond of our island now. He's going to perform a show here every Saturday evening from now on. It really is amazing. Seychelles was once a deserted island, but now we can host important concerts. I'm so thankful to you and everyone else on this island. I guess my getaway package idea is a success. I hope Seychelles remains an enjoyable place to live for a long time to come. With your help, it will. Speaking of which, I've developed a new app that should help you make the island even more inviting. Let me send it to you now. A new app? Wait, this is exciting. No way, we have the island designer. <gasps> the app I've just sent you is called Island Designer. It's a special app from Nook Inc. that gives residents the ability to take part in bold island development. At first, you'll only have permission to create paths, but you can use your mouse to access more options like different types of paths and permits for changing our cliffs and rivers. Once you get a taste of island design, I think you'll want more. I encourage you to obtain all the necessary permits. Yes, yes, Seychelles has come a long way. I think I'll leave more and more of this future development of the island in the hand of its residents. I'm glad we had this talk, Judy. On behalf of Nook Inc., I'm excited about our continued partnership and your Seychelles plans. Oh my goodness, so we actually just unlocked terraforming! It's time to focus on making the island life better and better. That means living each day to the fullest, doing things I like, and having lots of fun. Oh my goodness, that's so amazing! So I heard from my friends that the way that you unlock new things is actually by purchasing them with Nook Miles at the town hall. Because as you can see here with the Island Designer app, the only thing we have is grass and dirt. But I hear that there's more options, so let's go to the town hall and see if I can redeem my Nook Miles. I have been saving my miles for this moment. Bell voucher, Nook Miles ticket, customizable phone case, water, water escaping permit. Give me that. And I want this one as well. I want to see what the other stuff is because it looked like there were a few other new things. You can also get the pathways. Okay, this is really cool. So you, I thought that you had to actually craft the paths out of materials. 
but it looks like you're able to just buy it once using Nook Miles. So we're going to need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16,000. But I have 16,000 Nook Miles. So I'm just going to buy all of these now, even if I'm not going to use all of them. Maybe if I change my mind, I don't know, it just seems nice to have them all available. Okay, so I did go ahead and unlock every single terraforming option. So now I'd like to talk to Isabel and see what our current island evaluation is, just out of curiosity. Right now Seychelles has a 2 star rating. So why is KK even here? Our rating has fallen since the last time you checked. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback I gathered. It's like when a snow person is built just right. Sure, it's a good thing to be well made and feel the love, but I don't know that a snow person would get the proper attention here. That's my take anyway. There's just one more thing I'd like to mention. I came across a number of reports that mentioned an overabundance of trees. There have been a few incidents of folks getting lost in the woods, and they even miss their favorite TV programs. Now, I love trees as much as you do, but if our residents are getting lost, we need to listen. And there you have it. Just let me know next time you'd like to hear. So, are you saying I planted too many trees since the last time I got my rating? You know what? At least we have KK Slider and Terraforming unlocked. Even if my islanders hate my trees, I get what they mean. Like right here, there's just a cluster of trees. But like, I didn't really want to permanently place anything until I had Terraforming unlocked. Because there's so many things I would change if I could. And now that I can, we're changing everything. One of the first things that needs to happen is this needs to go. This, this museum, it's not welcome here. I need this museum to go right at the top of this cliff. But I couldn't place it there because the cliff is like, you see that? It's really uneven. But now that I have terraforming, I'm just going to tear down this weird finger of land. I'm going to flatten out this area and then I'm going to put the museum at the top. But I think I'm going to put like a garden leading up to the museum. So I'm going to put the museum... Not there, I like the river there. I'll put it here. And then I can still have the hot spring back here. I don't know, now there's so many possibilities that I really need to think about it. I'll probably do like an entire video just on making different areas throughout the island. Because that's definitely going to take a while. And you definitely have to do that not rushed, you know. You'd have to think about that quite a bit. But I do want to do some updates just for today's episode in general. So terraforming is definitely a very exciting thing that we have unlocked today, but there's something else really exciting that I want to mention today, and that is right inside here. So yesterday I did a live stream, and it is uploaded on YouTube now if you'd like to catch up on it. At the end of the live stream, I did a little bit of a live stream after party, and during that after party, we were actually able to catch a turtle. Then due to Wi-Fi issues, we lost the turtle, but then we found him again! So here he is, and this is Tortimer. So Tortimer is actually a new member of our family here, so now we have Tortimer and Denise living with us as well. They really just represent what Seychelles stands for, I'd say. Him and Denise are both so beautiful, and I'm just so happy to have them as residents on the island now. I'm really excited to bring them into this series, and I know that we're all going to greet them with lots and lots of love. I'm also going to start getting this room a bit more prepared for them so that they can live their best lives. Thank you so much to everybody that stuck through last night and helped find Tortimer, because we were starting to lose hope that we weren't going to be able to find him at some point, but luckily we were able to pull through in the end. Alright, so I think the very very first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to start prepping the land for the new landscaping that we've unlocked. And to do that, we're going to have to either eliminate, by that I mean chop down, or move all these trees because these trees are definitely going to get in the way. Now every day you do get a little message in a bottle on your beach. There's ours for today. So let's actually see what this says because each day it has a different recipe. When I first saw the ocean, I just thought, wow, that's big. But then I thought of this recipe and now you and only you get to reap the benefits of my brilliance. I trust you can take it from here. You're welcome from Julian. An acoustic guitar. Oh my gosh, that's actually really cool. So we can actually craft a guitar now. I was visiting someone's town yesterday 
And I saw an acoustic guitar, not an acoustic, an electric guitar, but still a guitar, was for sale for 71,000 bells. So I'd much rather create it through crafting. Let's see how expensive it is to craft it, actually. It is eight soft wood and three iron nuggets. See, that is a lot better than nearly 100,000 bells. Also, it looks like we do have another present going by. Look at all the villagers just sitting by the river here. I found just the right spot, so I'm taking a quick little rest. Oh, and you have some peach cider. Sorry for not getting up. I'm really comfortable here. That's so adorable. They're all just enjoying it. Also, this is what I did with the landscaping so far. I created a little stepping stone just because it is a bit more convenient until we're able to build a bridge. Also, let's go ahead and try to get this present. Thank you so much to Colin for the golden slingshot, by the way. It's definitely going to be very useful, especially during the bunny day event where there's so many presents all the time. There we go. We got a sky egg. I kind of like this area, but I feel like it needs something. So I have to think about it for a bit. Also, these trees need to be cherry blossom trees. I have to change those still. But this is looking a bit better. It's just like, I don't know. Maybe putting some different texture under the fountain. Just something, it needs a little something extra. Also something really exciting is there's an announcement on the board today. We're actually gonna be having a fishing journey on April 11th, which is gonna be really fun to see how that works in New Horizons. Also, my pansy is actually crossbreeded and produced a blue pansy, which I just put these here for a minute because I wasn't sure where I wanted to have them. And this was a complete accident. And the same thing happened with these two red flowers produced a third red flower, which I was also just putting there to get back to them later. And it's funny because all these flowers are crossbreeding, but over here, the flowers I actually want to crossbreed aren't doing anything. This is really cool. You can actually water skate right next to the plaza. So you could just make like an island for the town plaza, which is really, really cool. I love that a lot. But I'm still not sure if that's what I want to do. I'm not sure what exactly to do. Also, wait, if I did it like this, would your character just like jump around? What if I make my entire island path like that? It's going to take so long to be able to walk around if you have to jump from little river to river, but that is interesting. You could make some really cool patterns with the tool. I don't know, now we're at that problem where it's like there's too much freedom. I don't know where to go from here. I don't even know which area to start with. Also, what's Gale thinking about? Judy, how long have you been there? I guess I was sort of spaced out. I've been daydreaming lately about starting a new life on another island. Gale, you just got here. It's not that I'm unhappy here or anything. I think I just want to try something new. I want to keep growing as an alligator. I need to explore new places. No, stay. I guess I'll have to cancel my moving plans after hearing you say that. The idea of leaving here was making me sad. I'm glad you wanted me to stay. Gail's out here just trying to leave us. Oh my goodness. Is her peach cider not good enough? Should we have picked her some fresh peaches ourselves? Maybe she took some old peaches for her drink, that's why. I'm like, I'm sorry to hold my villagers back from chasing their dreams, but I'd rather just Blossom viewing lantern. Oh my goodness, we just got the lantern recipe. Um, as I was saying, I would rather just build a new plot, like build a new housing plot for new villagers to move in than lose any of my villagers because I love them all so much. I don't know, they're just, they're adorable. Audie's adorable. Zell is adorable. Simon, I mean, if he wanted to move, I'd be more okay with it. But Megan and Audie and Gail especially, they cannot leave. They are not allowed to leave. And Cherry as well. And Cobb too. No, no one's allowed to leave. You must stay here forever. That being said, I do want to meet other villagers, but I don't know. I'd just be so sad to see any of my villagers go so early in the game also. Especially Gail. She wasn't even one of my starting villagers. She moved here like two days ago and she's already done. Oh my goodness. I do want to see what this cherry blossom lantern looks like because one of the themes I have for my island is like lots and lots of lanterns so that even at nighttime it's just as beautiful as in the daytime. Yes, that is the lantern I was hoping to get. So we need cherry blossom petals and hardwood. Okay, I'm gonna craft two of those. I wanted to put the lanterns on this side and this side of the little pathway because I think that at nighttime it's gonna look really pretty to have like little lights in between the trees. Now it does look like we have some rocks back here that we can hit. 
Oh, it's a money. Oh, no, Gale. Cherry is sick. Oh, wait, what? Cherry's sick. That's why she wasn't at the KK concert earlier. Um, I don't know how long she's gonna be sick for, so let's just take five, just in case. Okay, her house is right here. Oh my gosh, she's sweating. Does she have a fever? Cherry. Oh my goodness. Uh, gotta stop shivering. I, I have some medicine for you. Um, here. Wait, did I just give her five? Whoa, I think I just instantly made her better. I didn't think you were gonna take all five at once. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better, Cherry. You were dizzy even lying down. Oh my goodness. Glad we've resolved that. Thank you so much for telling us about that, Gail. Um, so yeah, we got a hundred bells from that money rock, but that's worth it because we got to help Cherry. All right, now that we have all those resources, I think the main thing I'd like to do is just start planning out the island. So I'm going to actually end this episode here and start working on sketching the layout of the land. Comment down below if you have any ideas and also which area of the island you think we should start out with. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone!